Hello and welcome. My name is Jackson and today we're going to be playing my Montana Grizz Dynasty and we're going to be facing off against the Boise State Broncos. We're going on the road, playing them on that blue turf and I'm not going to take too much longer with this intro. Just subscribe to the channel. I'd like a like for this video for everybody who watches it. We've been getting a lot of views from our shorts so I'm not going to talk too much. I just wanted to say thank you for being such a great audience and that's it. Y'all are the best. Stay blessed, and I'll see y'all on the field after we fire our guys up. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show. Nobody wants to go to an ice cream store called Just Vanilla. You have just one flavor. There are a lot of different ways to get it done. And we're going to be watching a couple of ways to get it done on the football field today. And as a fan of the game, it's going to be a great treat just to watch these two squads, one of whom wants to pitch it all over the yard and go fast, the other one who wants to control the tempo with a physical attack. Seeing these two teams go head-to-head -head is going to be a great treat. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. All right, guys, I got my Grizz hoodie on. We're ready to start this game. Bergen's ready to return this thing. Let's see what we do. Ooh, not much. Couldn't get that block on the outside, but it's all good. We got Bobby Hawk looking good over there. We mean business today. We got Y out here. It's Fonts. He makes a move, and I don't know how he's still on his feet, but I wish he would have just went out. All right, now we're going to run the ball for real. And Gilman just gets tapped and goes down. It's all right. All right, now we're going to run this jet sweep style kind of edge run play. We got White with some... E Ooh, he's got some room around the edge. And he's going to get there. First down, Grizz. All right, we're going to come under center here. It looks like they're blitzing from the right. So we're going to take this. Oh, we got our guy. Nice throw. Racanelli ran a good route. And he's going to sit down there inside the 25-yard line. Nice. Two for two to start out. Good route. Good throw right here. He gets hit. And Racanelli secures it and goes down. Uh-oh, they're giving us one high safety. Will they give us press? Give us some press coverage? No. It's all right. We're going to run this anyways. Got our guy. It's Keelan White balling out right now. All right, now we got Gilman in the shotgun. I like this route that we can run with him. But our tight end's open, and Schaefer's going to run over a man, put him on the hood, and we are in the end zone. The Boise State couldn't do nothing. Kirk needs to hush because I'm talking right now. I have the floor. This is my broadcast. Gilman's going to hurdle a man and try for a first down, but he's going to be just an inch short. Clifton McDowell sees somebody blitzing off the edge, it looks like, so he's going to change this play here. And we got Bergen. He's going to race right by the man, and Junior Bergen is in the end zone for a touchdown. A huge 60-yard bomb. Boise State gets in the end zone. Now we got to run the ball a little bit harder. We're going to sit down there after eight yards. Now we're going to come out here and pass the ball. We need two yards. 
So if it's not there, we're gonna... Oh my goodness. I wish White... <laughs> I'm glad he didn't catch that there because we probably would have lost yards. All right, now they're playing kind of deep. So we're just gonna run the ball here. Stick with the counter. Gilman gets it. Shakes a man. And we got another eight-yard rush. Let's go, guys. Stand on the gas here. We need two touchdowns. Two possessions. So we need to maintain... Oh, we got our guy. It's Schaefer, and nobody's going to touch him. Oh, the big guy going down the field, streaking down the hash. Look at him. Look at him throwing darts out here. And now we're going to get back to running the ball. We need Gilman to get some more yards here. We got to dominate between the trenches. And that's what he does there. Gets 13 yards for us. All right, let's get a look at this play real quick before we run it. I actually want to run Racanelli. I like this. Not going to be able to get him. It's okay. We will late. And we get three yards there. Instead of going out of bounds and only getting like one or two. I guess that's a win. Racanelli's looking sharp today. Let's see who else we can find. We got our guy Fonts. Get some separation. Gilman gets a nice eight yard run. That's about what he's averaging today. We're, yeah, 8.2. Nice. My voice is a little shot. Been doing a lot of videos the last three days. I did the longest stream I've done on this channel. So I'll leave a little thing where if you want to watch that, you can just click on the screen. McDowell's going down inside the five. Nice run. Alright, now we're going to run this power. We got Ostomo in there. Ostomo is in the end zone for a Grizz touchdown. Let's go. Look at him. Eat. Eat. That's what he does. He's had so many touchdowns. He's our Jamal Williams on this team. We're talking about a few years ago, the Lions. Let's go, Bergen. Bergen is definitely our Amon Ross St. Brown. We're just gonna go to the half here. We're not even gonna try and score. We got two we got two touchdowns ahead of them, so that's good. We're just gonna take it to the half. I like the halftime show. Nice, that looks good. We're official up here. Schaefer running over a man. That's what's up. Bergen taking one to the house. Schaefer getting a bomb. Two on the day. We got Font showing out. McDowell running the rock. Hurdling for extra yardage. Ostomo finding the end zone again. David Pollock. They're earning it right now, keeping me up. Got Reese in there, the in the studio. Right, Time of possession, we're winning that. Yards, we winning that. Pass yards, you know we winning that. Let's go. These first half stats are looking good. Let's finish it up here. We got a championship to win with the Grizz. This is the Montana Grizz dynasty. While we got a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my live streams that I was talking about earlier. You already know about that. So all these episodes are in a playlist on my channel. Go ahead and subscribe, like the video. And if you wanna see the post game stats, I have made a thread on Twitter or X. And I've also put the stats on our Reddit page for our community. If you are a subscriber of the channel, then you can join our Reddit community. And in our Reddit community, I also have the post game stats in there. We're only gonna slide here and take what we got. All right, let's see what we got here. We're gonna throw it on first down. Oh, no, no, no. All right, we went up, climbed the ladder and got it and somehow got a first down out of that. High points the football and makes his quarterback look good. That's what we're talking about. The teamwork from the Grizz. Also in basketball, I've got two Grizz basketball videos with March Madness Legacy. It's pretty much college basketball revamped if you don't know what March Madness Legacy is. But come on, get off of it. Come on, Gilman. Fourth and inches, are you serious? But anyways, we're going to bring out Jason White and we're going to make a Grizz basketball dynasty with Jason White as our sixth man. And I think that's going to be awesome. X Harris is our running back. 
He's gonna catch the ball, break the tackle, and he's got the first down. The Grizz Dynasty like this video right here, the game of the year, because it's not over yet. We're gonna try and run some clock here and play this smart. McDowell tries to break a tackle, but he just can't. This is our 13th play of the drive, is what Brad said. So we're gonna try and run the ball again. Run some more clock. We got the edge with Gilman as he runs over a man. And that will take us to the end of the third as we have a big third and four coming up. The fourth quarter here. Put your fours up, everybody. I like I like the webcam. Let me know if you like it. If you think I should do away with the webcam. I guess that's fine, but I don't see what you think's wrong with the webcam. Unless you just think I'm ugly, which... I mean, that's uh, your opinion, but... But I think that's just crazy. I think I'm a pretty handsome looking young man if I do say so myself. Getting into the end zone there. And let's see, this is a huge rivalry. This game is gonna be played in real life next season and this is huge that Texas wins that. I like Texas more than Texas A&M personally. We got a big interception on that last drive for Boise State. Our defense stands tall and if you think that Boise State and Montana is a rivalry, I juked and nothing happened. You gotta see Texas and Texas A&M. They cannot stand each other. And I think that is the biggest rivalry in all of college sports. Come on, Bergen. Get up for it. You just can't hang on. It's all right. We're 12 for 15. It's a pretty good day passing. This game may not have the best finish, but that's okay. This is a huge win for us. This gives the Grizz credibility going into the playoffs. The fact that we have gone into Boise State and put up 35 points. A good Boise State team, too. Oh, come on, Danik. No, he picked it. So that's the first interception for Jason White. I'd rather Jason White throw an interception. This is our two-minute warning. We got to protect the ball here. We threw a pick with our punter. I know that sounds weird. Our last drive ended like that. And we're still running with Gilman. The whole time talking there, I thought the play was over. And Gilman's just sitting there crawling over bodies. I love when cheese goes in my favor. I'm sorry. I think it's awesome. We're going to go for him again. We couldn't get him. We wanted Schaefer for three touchdowns today. It just wasn't in the cards. That was a good try, though. Schaefer's been balling out, getting open. We're stumbling over here. I think we can run it with Schaefer again here, though. Let's see what happens. It is White this time, and Keelan White deserves a catch. He's been balling today. And I think we should just keep it on the ground here. You know? Truck a guy with Gilman. That seems nice. I'd also like to say this, all right? This is a dynasty. This is not a Montana rebuild. This is not, you know, ULM, all right? This is Montana. This is an alternate universe where Montana just becomes dominant in the post Nick Saban era. And that kick is up and good. Clifton McDowell's been going ham. All right, guys, so they scored a touchdown, but they couldn't get the two-point conversion, and we still win by two possessions. And that's going to be it for this game of the year. It, might have been, it may not have been the best finish of the year, but it was definitely our game of the year that we had circled on the calendar. We got out of here with a dub, played a good game, had a good video. I did some different things, and I hope y'all like this one. If not, let me know what I can do better about these videos. I got a lot more viewers than I did when I first started this dynasty, so that's awesome to me. Again, I really meant what I said earlier. Y'all are the best audience ever because y'all are watching me and what I've created and worked very hard on. I want to get better at video editing. I want to get better at this game so that whenever the new game comes out, EA Sports College Football 25. Whenever that thing comes out, we want to be good and ready to go to run these dynasties on Heisman so we don't get all the hate talk and all the, oh, you're running a fake, fake punt. Ooh, oh, who cares? That's fun for me, and I like it. I hope y'all like it. hope y'all like this Grizz Dynasty. If not, I got a lot of different things that I can show you and a lot of different ideas that I've been cooking up, so 
Let me know what y'all think about this video, which I want to see in future videos. See the dart over there. I was so happy throwing that ball to Schaefer. That's just an awesome game for him. Glad to see our tight end balling, getting on the stat sheet. Again, if y'all want to see the stats, it's on Reddit, Instagram, Threads, and X on my channel, on my account on X. So if y'all want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. Catch me streaming on Thursdays at 530. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. As always, stay blessed and peace.